you guys it's Annie welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here it feels like it has been literally forever since I sat down and filmed a video which actually ties in perfectly to what today's video is all about so basically in today's video I am sharing with you guys why it is that I have completely let go of uploading and posting schedules on social media and all of the different ways it has completely and totally changed my life made me so much more inspired and creative and motivated and just as as a whole has made things so much better for me. Back when I first began to take YouTube really seriously and make YouTube my full-time job, I had a really, really strict uploading schedule where I basically uploaded every second day for two years straight. Essentially, I would literally have to be in a hospital bed coughing up a lung to not be able to upload. Did that benefit my channel at all? Did that help my channel grow? Of course, because the more videos you are uploading, the more content you have out there for people to discover you through, and that's going to help your channel channel or Instagram or TikTok to grow. At the time, I really, really bought into that whole myth of YouTube favors channels that upload more often and at the same time and day, and that YouTube basically would drop your channel if you were suddenly inconsistent, if you took a week off of filming, if you didn't upload to YouTube for a year. Eventually, I did learn that that was a total myth, that it was completely untrue. YouTube's algorithm absolutely does not reward or penalize people depending on how much or how little they upload. Just like any other social social media platform or algorithm, whether that is YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, the one and only thing that any social media algorithm is looking for is engagement. So whether you are uploading every single day or once a week or once or twice a month, the only thing that social media algorithms care about is whether or not people are engaging with your content. So definitely learning all of that played a very big role in everything else that came after. So here are the three main reasons why I completely and totally got rid of uploading and posting schedules on social media. Number one, creating content and posting on social media literally became the only thing my life was focused on, almost like an obsession. Yes, absolutely, social media and YouTube is my full-time job. That is how I make a living. That is how I make money. So of course, in order to be successful, I have to treat it as a full-time job. However, I was starting to sacrifice a lot of other things in my life for the sake of filming videos or shooting Instagram content. I would constantly be getting all up in my head of like, how long has it been since my last upload, since I last posted on Instagram? Am I going too long without posting? I even remember some days where I had a video in mind I wanted to film, and if it was like lunchtime and I hadn't sat down yet to film it, I would get so, so stressed. And that is really when I began to sacrifice my workouts to turn down offers to hang out with friends, spend less time with my family, so that I could focus on YouTube and posting more content. I even remember a couple of times where I was doing a brand deal or a sponsorship with a brand and of course whenever you do a sponsorship you have to submit the content to the brand first so that they can approve it and tell you whether or not there are changes to make before you upload it and I remember back then if ever I had to wait for a brand to approve certain content if it was taking like two or three days for them to get back to me if I was going over my every second day upload and I was missing upload days I was getting so so stressed out about missing my upload days that I was completely missing the fact that the money I was making on the sponsorship was literally almost double what I made on AdSense in a month, which looking back on it now sounds absolutely insane and totally crazy, but that was pretty much how I had my brain wired at the time. I was completely and totally out of hand. I was crazily obsessed with it and it was just not healthy. So that is definitely one of the main reasons why I really, really had to completely let go of uploading and posting schedules because I was just getting really all in my head about it. It was becoming like an obsession and super, super unhealthy. So then the second reason why I finally decided to get rid of uploading and posting schedules is probably the one that impacted me the most as a creator. And that is that I pretty much began to upload content on YouTube and post content on Instagram, more so for the convenience of it and less for the enjoyment. Because at the time I was uploading every second day, I had almost no time to ask myself, is this a video I actually care about? Is this a topic I'm genuinely passionate about? At the time, I was really solely focused on getting an upload up every second day to make sure I was keeping my audience engaged, keeping people coming back, and most importantly, making sure I was making enough money to support myself. So basically, in my mind at that time, if I was keeping up with my upload schedule, I was uploading consistently, I never missed an upload, and I was making consistent money, then everything was all good. Except everything was most definitely not good because I did eventually reach a point where I absolutely did not care about what I was uploading at all 
all as long as I was uploading. In the last few weeks and months that I have totally absolutely kicked uploading and posting schedules where I've been a lot more focused on uploading content I am genuinely passionate about, I have genuinely never found myself more excited, more inspired, more motivated to create. Whenever I wake up in the morning and know that today I'm sitting down to film a video, I am all of a sudden 10 times more excited than I used to be. All of that for the sole reason that if I wake up in the morning and I don't feel like filming, I don't film. If I don't feel like going to shoot Instagram pictures, I don't do it. And that has also really, really started to go in hand with not focusing so much on niches, not really focusing on like, does this content align with that niche or this niche? And just really focusing on creating content that aligns with me and who I am as a person and content that I'm genuinely passionate about and want to share with my audience. So that is the second, potentially the biggest, most impactful reason why I completely ditched upload schedules. Now, this last thing is less of a reason like the other two and more so a realization and something I came to learn. So like I said before, I eventually came to realize that I was really only uploading that much and that often so that I could make enough money to support myself. And that is also when I began to realize just how crappy AdSense pay is on YouTube and the way that creators on YouTube are paid like like garbage. That is definitely when I learned that no creator on YouTube, whether you have 100 subscribers or 100 million subscribers, no creator should ever depend on AdSense alone. There are just so many uncontrollable factors that go into how much you get paid on YouTube, whether that is your audience demographics or the current CPM and RPM of the keywords in your videos, whether or not people are watching the ads on your videos or skipping them, there are just so many factors in it. There are some days that I make 80 to $100 in one day, there are other days that I make $5 in one day. So all that to say that AdSense is just not reliable as a creator and I was definitely stressing myself out for no reason. So that definitely is when I began to really take a step back from my AdSense and begin to treat my AdSense paycheck as like a little bonus and really really began to focus on stacking up other revenue streams that depended 0% on how much you upload. I could for an example do one or two sponsorships every month and get paid like double what I make in AdSense. As I've mentioned so many times on my channel, I focus heavily on affiliate marketing and with my affiliate marketing income, I literally make in one month what I make in five months on AdSense. So that is when I really, really became a whole lot more invested in educating myself about passive income, learning how to build passive income streams, how to maximize them, how to grow them and make more money off them so that even if my AdSense revenue was to suddenly crash or if I was to take an entire month off of uploading, then my revenue and my income is completely unaffected because it's not dependent on how much I upload on YouTube. So that is definitely something else that has made me a whole lot less stressed when it comes to what I'm uploading, how many views it's getting, how much money it's making, because no matter what I'm doing or uploading on YouTube, no matter how successful it is or how much money it's making, I have my other streams of income making me money literally in my sleep. Definitely one blessing that makes me a whole lot more comfortable where my revenue is concerned. But yeah, you guys, that is pretty much it for this video. That is pretty much everything I wanted to share with you guys and talk to you about. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed, maybe gave you a little bit of food for thought, something to think about or research yourself. As always, thank you all for watching. I love you all to the moon and back and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!